Hey there everyone, welcome to my channel, my name is Hashimi First of all, Happy New Year 2021 Wishing everyone Happy New Year I hope this year gonna be a recovery year from last year I uh, hope that the whole situation with the pandemic will get better this year Hopefully Anyway, as a start of this year, there's one thing that I've been wanting to do but had failed to do Which I wanna make as a habit this year And that is journaling but without a doubt, journaling has been proven to be beneficial for a lot of things uh, from mental health, for reducing your stress, your anxiety to improve your productivity, your creativity, your writing and so much more uh, I'm an offer thinker myself so I've been told that keeping a journal will also help to overcome that and so for that reason, this year I want to do it properly and make it as a habit So in this video, I want to show you how I set up my first bullet journal for 2021 now this is my first time doing bullet journaling, uh, my idea was to keep it simple, keep it minimal and nothing fancy And I've been watching a lot of Mojo setup from various channels to kind of gain inspiration before I working on mine uh, Which I gotta say I felt inferior and jealous because people's bullet journal is like beautiful and all but mine is like meh but anyway, here for my setup, I, I actually found one that's quite uh, simple to, to follow which is from a channel called Pick Up Lime So my, my bullet journal quite closely following her structure as well with a bit of tweak to serve what I need So for my bullet journal, I use the A6 uh, format notebook This is from Typo uh, I like it because it's pocket size uh, and I could just bring it everywhere with me so I start off, I started with a key, uh, it's the same like a uh, pickup line, this is a reference to what symbol means, like for a task it's a dot, for completed it will be a X, and then strike out means cancel, and so on and so forth. And then the next one I added my 2021 resolution and goals, uh, this is gonna be a page where I would refer as the year progress if I had already made the progress on my yearly goals uh, This year's resolution basically is just something that I brought from last year but because I didn't achieve most of it And the next one we start going to the monthly spread and by month uh, The first page is gonna be like a highlight of what I wanna do or focus on that month it's Like for example books that I wanna read a content that I wanna publish uh, or in a, like a real life what kind of activity or things that I want to do For example, this month I wanted to focus to buy a fish as a pet this month So that's the thing that probably I'm gonna add to that page In addition to that, in that page as well I have uh, important dates instead of like uh, the whole month or calendar Because I don't have much going on usually every month So yeah, I just keep it simple the next one that I added is the habit tracker I think I like this uh, idea of tracking habit and this year itself I want to focus on building my habit uh, which is like exercise, waking up before 7am, blogging, writing, uh, meditation and eating On to the next one, I also added the gratitude or uh, appreciation note This is uh, also came from Pickup Line, I follow it uh, Last year, my company actually started doing this and the very idea of it actually, I like it but I just realized that I didn't do well enough so I want to do it more to kind of sort of remind myself that there's a lot of little things that I took for granted or overlook that I should be grateful for so I just want to jot down all, uh, all those little things here on the next section of my setup, actually I added a budgeting or expense tracker And in this particular technique that I use is called uh, Kakebo This is a Japanese uh, technique that I've been using on and off for the past two years So this is something that I didn't see much while I was looking at everyone's bullet journal But I, I do wanted to incorporate this to my daily journaling as well So this to kind of mindfully track my expense as well so I'm actually gonna make another video, separate video for Kakebo budgeting uh, So if you're interested and in to know more about this Kakebo budgeting You can consider subscribe so you don't miss it when I post it And the next one on my setup is actually uh, like a to-do, like a day-to-day to-do list And also the last one would be my like daily or weekly lock, a daily kind of lock 
where I wanted to write down like my, how that how my week or day went. But I'm not gonna do it daily for this one. Probably I will just like a group it or maybe weekly. And lastly, on the back of this journal, uh, in this little journal, I have like a compartment or pocket uh, that I'm gonna use for a uh, brain dumpster. I call it to just kind of store all my brilliant or stupid idea or thought that came to my mind. Another thing that I actually wanted to add as well to this journal is my reading journal because I want to track my reading in my journal. But then I see people actually uh, have a different journal for reading as well. So for me, I didn't add it to here, but then I created with Notion instead. All right, so this is my reading journal on Notion. So the setup is really simple. It's really basic. Uh, I'm not going to go into detail how, how I set it up, but I just want to run through it. Uh, very quickly so I will start first with uh, books read and hours spent for now but later on probably I will add another thing like page sheet or any other stuff. Uh, hours spent is something that might be interesting so this year I want to track also uh, how many hours I spent this year on reading so I have uh, also a genre for now I only have fiction and non-fiction but also later on I will also add another genre like a specific genre uh, another thing is I have a monthly focus, basically a TBR might focus on that month, kind of what book that I want to read. And then I have a reading list after that. So this is basically all the list of books that I, I am reading or I read uh, this year. And I have a different view, like timeline view, board view, uh, table view. Yeah. Uh, I like seeing it as a timeline view so I know when was the first time I read it and how many days after that I finished it as well. Like I, as I progress, as I read also, the timeline kind of span also as well. So, and, and this is something that uh, call back to the Howard Speeds, uh, reading logs, which is basically a habit that I actually wanted to do this year, which every time I read, I want to track down the time I read it. I know this is um, something like overwhelming and quite hassle to do, but but to be honest, I'm also quite uh, pessimistic if I can keep it as a habit, but we'll see. But the important thing actually I wanted to do is every time I read, I wanted to uh, have a note each time. Like each session I read, I wanted to, to write down anything that I can get from that book. I just want to write like my impression or my thoughts on that. Or just like a note so that I can like refer back and oh, uh, that's where I left off or something like that. Uh, and with this reading log, actually, it also calculates how many hours uh, every session and it will actually reflect to this uh, list here. So I can see here on Ret Return of Sherlock Holmes, I actually read four and a half hours this year. So yeah, that is my setup. I don't want to uh, go into detail how I set it up, but if you want to know, probably I'm going to create another video for a reading journal setup for Notion. So if you're interested, you can consider subscribing so that you won't miss this one. So yeah, that's how pretty much I set up my bullet journal and reading journal for this year. Uh, as this is my first time, I'm still trying to figure out uh, what's worked best for me and what's not. So as the year progress, probably I will kind of refine a lot of things. For example, like my day-to-day to-do list is actually unrealistic for me because as this is my personal journal, I don't mix with the uh, work to do, so it's quite impossible for me to do like five tasks in a day on a weekday. So usually I would just able to work on like one or two menial tasks on a weekday, but I would have uh, more time on a weekday. So yeah, that's also with the reading journal, I'm probably going to refine or add more things as uh, year progress. Uh, if you have other tips that I should try or like any other method, or you found my method resonate to you as well, just write down all your thoughts in the comment section. I would love to hear it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and gained something out of it. And thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.